What's up everybody? Dr. Vince presents here episode 25, 555. And this was uh, what I learned at Tony Robbins' crazy ass event in San Jose, Unleash the Power Within. Great episode, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, Dr. Vince presents, this is episode 25, uh, what I learned at Tony Robbins' crazy ass event in San Jose called Unleash the Power Within. So, uh, hey, really quick, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Click on the bell and you'll get notified when new episodes come up. And um, looking for more training, wanna build your practice, would you like to do it for free? Go ahead and go to leoneconsulting.co just CO, not .com, leoneconsulting.co. There is a free practice building course there. It's awesome, mindset, marketing, and systems. Go there as soon as we're done with this. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right in. We're uh, at the con in the conference room today using this, uh, uh, I, I had to uh, write down some notes for you guys because there was just so much material. So it was four days and, um, uh, you know, first of all, <laughs> Tony swears like a sailor. I mean, I, I, I shit you not. And uh, it, that was a joke. Point being, um, he, and he, he says it, he, he does it because of this, um, uh, it kind of shakes people up or snaps them out of their kind of mental lethargy. And he had referenced this book called Taboo. Um, and I can't remember who wrote it, but someone, uh, some you know, kind of big thinker, blah, blah, blah. But the point being was he, he cusses all the time, like drops F-bombs left and right. Uh, and it was actually kind of funny after a while. But um, point being is uh, that was kind of funny. But the, uh, it's divided up into four days. Uh, I flew down Wednesday, flew back Monday. So it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And each day is minimum 12 hours, um, uh, which is crazy, right? And uh, there's very little food. Uh, he, and he just goes and goes and goes. Now he doesn't do it every day. He does the first and the third day. And then Joseph McClendon does Tuesday, or the second day and the fourth day. And, uh, and, and that's great. Joseph McClendon is awesome. Um, you know, he, he's not Tony Robbins, but he's, he's the perfect um, dichotomy, I guess. You know, Tony is six, seven, big and white. Joseph McClendon is like five, eight, skinny and black. <laughs> So, but he is an awesome guy. He's had massive success. He's been with Tony for 30 years. So cool, cool guy. Now, um, and I apologize. I hope that wasn't being offensive when I said he was black, African-American, whatever, um, you know, is most appropriate. Point being, let's dig into what I learned here. So his, Tony's biggest thing is life is about energy, right? And so your energy determines your output and your state and the energy that is associated with it uh, determines your results, right? And so that, that's, I would say that's probably the number one thing is if you can live in a phenomenal state, you, everything else is going to be improved vastly because of that. So um, think of this, like, uh, let's bring this to a chiropractic um, perspective. Uh, consider a low energy state or so a low energy state or a high energy state in these different areas so we have treating patients growing your practice training your staff playing with your kids loving your spouse so just take a minute and think of what each of those situations would be like so you have a very low energy state treating your patients or you're very up right? Educating, adjusting really well. Like what type of experiences that can provide for your patient? Same thing for growing your practice, your focus, your energy, your enthusiasm for growing your practice. You know, if it's low energy, you're probably going to get minimal results, right? If it's really high energy and you have a lot to put into it, you'll see associated results with that. Same thing with your staff. Like if you're going to be high energy, training, motivating, leading, you are going to have better results with your staff. Think about your kids. If you know what your relationship with your kids and, and when you do things with them, what you bring, and then obviously with your spouse, if you're bringing that type of energy, it's gonna have a whole different result. So after this is done, take a minute and think about that. And um, it just starts to uh, seep in. And the, the, the question is, 
why are we not putting more focus on this? If this has such a big impact, why don't we put more focus on it? Okay, moving on. So day two was really, really long. So that started at 7.30 and ended at 12.30. And that ended at 12, uh, we went out. So think about this. Um, so this is at the SAP Center in San Jose. It holds, I don't know, I don't know how many, it's where they play the, uh, the Sharks game. Um, and it, so there was 12,000 12, people at the event. Um, so a, just a ton of people. And so it's midnight, day two, everyone is exhausted yet still, you know, energy is still really high. And they say, everyone take off your shoes and socks. Now Tony walks you through how to do the firewalk. So the firewalk is, they have like 40 rows of, um, you know, I think it's about 12 to 14 feet of 2000 degree burning hot ass coals laid on the ground. And Tony walks, before you do it, he walks you through it because there is obviously danger in doing it. Um, but the point being is, you know, um, there's a way to walk, there's what to say, there's where to focus your eyes, um, and there's what to do when you get to the other side because, you know, little things like, hot ass coals getting stuck between your toes. Um, what, to do, what to do to get them out. Um, and so, you know, literally, obviously not everybody did it, but the vast majority, of, so maybe 10,000 people walking out barefoot, it's raining at midnight, it's cold as hell, but no one was cold. And, you know, and then you just boom, you walk through it and it, it's just, it, it, it's a phenomenal result because, um, it or a phenomenal experience because it it's scary you know like that whole day like um i was really questioning whether i was going to do it i was like do, i mean do, this sounds a little nutty is it something i really need to do anyways if you ever go which i highly recommend we'll talk about that a little bit later um definitely 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 do the firewall so number day number three uh, we're not going to get into nitty gritty of every single day, guys. We're just going to do the highlights. Day number three is transformation day. Tony was back and we go in, it took a really deep dive into our belief system and in particular, our limiting beliefs, right? Things that have held us back over time. Um, so when like at the event, you know, this is, this is over hours, right? So we're taking a lot of time thinking about this, talking about this, all this type of stuff, writing stuff down. When you put a lot of thought into this, and you let it kind of percolate for a while, you'll start to hear common phrases and words that keep coming up. Stuff that you've just told yourself that maybe you learned somewhere along the way, or you've you know adopted these um, phrases that you kind of tell yourself, um, and they're not very good for you, right? So, um, and one of Tony's like really, really good, massive gifts is that he can, um, he just has a process to turning that around, right? And it's not, it's not gonna be done in one weekend, right? So it's a matter of doing it, but then continuing to repeat the process so that it creates lasting change. But that was massive, like, you know, like day three, the transformation day, like people were bawling, people, you know, like it, it was just, it was really powerful. It was really, really powerful. And, um, and I, I can't really describe it. All I can tell you is that um, it's, it was very, very powerful. It was very enlightening. Um, I learned stuff about myself that I did not know. Um, and hey, may, you know, we'll see. We'll see what type of uh, long-term results comes from this. this. That's what's gonna be interesting. So when we talk about Belize, it's like um, there's a saying, what we think is what we think about, right? And that may sound a little bit confusing, but you know, let it marinate a little bit. What we think, like what goes through our heads on a regular basis, that's what we tend to think about, right? So um, if you want to change your life, you wanna get better results, give yourself better thoughts, right? Because your thoughts lead to beliefs, beliefs lead to actions, actions lead to results. So if we have the results over here that we do not want, you know, whether that's, um, you know, we're not hitting our practice goals, we don't have the relationship with our spouse, we don't have the relationship with our kids, we don't have our income goals, whatever it may be, maybe health goals. If we don't have the result that we want, you start back at the thoughts stage, right? From the very, very beginning. What are you thinking about? Which are then, so you wanna change that, right? 
change those thoughts, which leads to different beliefs, which lead to different actions, which lead to, leads to different results and different um, outcomes. So, and, and by the way, if you get to the end of that and you're not getting the results you want and you're still taking, you're still changing here and taking lots of action to get the results, then you adapt, go back and do it again and see what the results are. If you don't get the results you wanted, then you go back and change it again. Take massive action, see what the results are. You do that again and again until you get the results you want, okay? So like Tony would use an example of a child, like how many times would you give them an opportunity to learn how to walk? Well, as many damn times as it takes, uh, that it takes until the baby walks because um, that is where most people get hung up. Uh, and and I, I know for sure that has been something in my life where, you know, you you get frustrated. Even if you, you know, even if you've tried several times, you get frustrated. And, the, and we really just can't see failure um, or not getting the results that we want as failure. We need to see it as a learning experience. So, and um, look, maybe, uh, I, I, this isn't all Tony, like a lot of people talk about this stuff. This, this is just, I'm just telling you, these are some of the things that we've talked specifically about in this event. And again, uh, it wasn't all new information to me, um, but again, you, you deliver it in a state and in an environment that is, you know, high energy, um, high emotion, um, and, and really with this desire to learn and change, it's, it was very, very cool. So, um, you know, this reminds me of a client that I have and he's been with other coaches. He's tried uh, tons of different marketing and he still is, you know, you know, when he signed with me, you know, he, and he told me all this stuff and I, and look, I, I commend him and I honor him because what he was looking at is like, look, I want to model, I want to find someone that's done this already and then just do what they did and so I can get those results, which is like the, that's his biggest shortcut in life is, is really to find a mentor, find a coach, find someone that's doing what you're, that you want to do and then just model that behavior. I mean, that's, that's where you take, you know, um, where like Tony says, that's where you condense decades into days when you can literally just model someone, follow a blueprint. Um, but I honor that because there's so many doctors in the profession saying, you know, I don't want a damn consultant. You know, they're just looking for your money and blah, blah, blah. And maybe there's some that are, but the point being is no one in any profession, sport, etc., has achieved phenomenal results without some type of mentor, coach, or consultant. I mean, that's just, I mean, maybe there's some examples here and there, but the vast majority people, they get a coach to help them get to that next level, right? Or show them what they did so that they can just model it. Anyways, um, so I honor him because he is continuing to push through, you know, and that's, that's, that's half the battle. Half the battle is having the persistence and the consistency and the cojones to continue to fight, okay, for what you want. All right, now, um, another thing that really, really, really stuck out is, is honestly how much he seems to give a damn about you or the people in his community. I mean, there was 12,000 people there and I, I, look, he's worth half a billion dollars. He feeds millions of people per year through his um, foundation. And by the way, he matches anybody up to $3 million donations, which is crazy. Um, he doesn't have to do this, right? These events are kind of like the, the lowest tier. He has, you know, boom, boom, boom. Much higher events that are like 10 grand a piece. Um, he probably could make just as much money putting all his time and effort into these smaller events that takes less out of him. Um, but I honestly believe he really just wants to help people. I mean, he doesn't need to do this. And that's just what's so cool is he, he continues to do this. Uh, year after year. I think he does two of these a year, I believe, um, of the Unleash the Power Within. And, and so, um, so that really struck me about him. What also struck me is his phenomenal energy. I mean, like on day one, let's see, we started at 12, we ended at 11 um, or 12 midnight, something like that. You know, he didn't take a break. He didn't take a pee break. He didn't take a water break. Maybe he did, I didn't see it, but I, and I was watching. But the man has phenomenal energy, phenomenal, phenomenal like, you know, sustainability. It, it's just, it's crazy. 
I mean, it's like he's a, a, a alien or something. Anyways, um, look, just to wrap this up, I, it, it was a phenomenal experience. And by the way, if you're not interested uh, in in changing, making changes, making improvements in your life, then there's no reason to go to this. But um, if you are, uh, regardless of what you think about Tony Robbins or personal personal development in general um, or these types of events, um, it, it's not about motivation. Like I, that, that was the first thing I was asked uh, by the um, first person I talked to coming back from the event. So are you motivated? Um, it's not about motivation, it's about change. Now motivation is is obviously a part in it, but that's not what we're trying, that's not what we're after. We're, we're after change, right? We're after having an outcome that we're shooting for and then having the tools, tactics, and strategies to implement to get there. So, um, I, I, you know, all I can say is that um, it's a thousand dollars for, and, and by the way, I got the cheap seats. Um, they go up to, I think, 2,500, you know, closer you get. Um, and then, and then uh, Tony has a little uh, platinum event parties for people that pay more. But, you know, I, um, I was talking with a good friend of mine who she has been there many t uh, to many events. And she said, hey, on your first one, just get the cheap seats and take a shit ton of notes. And, and that's what I did. I mean, I have a full notebook of notes plus his notebook that I took notes in there as well. So this whole week, I've just been kind of downloading and I'm gonna basically go back and coach myself on, okay, here's a plan to do this, uh, or here's a plan to start implementing these things that we've talked about because you literally, you forget because it's like so many hours going through the whole event. So anyways, that's it. Um, hope this was helpful. Um, I, again, highly recommend going to one, one of these events. I mean, invest in yourself, invest the time, uh, the, you know, the money to travel and the uh, cost for the event. Get there. I have no idea when the next one is. I'd get no compensation whatsoever for recommending. I just think that if you're looking to change your life or improve your life, that this would be something that would actually really help you. So I'm Dr. Vince Leone. This was episode 25, what the heck I learned at Tony Robbins event. Um, if you uh, are not a subscriber yet, please hit subscribe and, and, and hit the bell. That will give you a notification when a new episode comes up. Uh, if you're looking to improve your practice and build your practice, go to leoneconsulting.co and sign up for my free practice building course. Um, I go over mindset marketing systems. Guys, I hope you have a phenomenal day and I will see you next week. Take care.